Lucas Media. All right, I'm getting into it. So DJ Envy and his partner, former business partner, Caesar Pena, got hit with a with Rico charge as far as basically scamming. I'll post a link to the article. My bad, y'all. I'm driving, so I can't. I don't have the article in front of me at this moment. But basically, they're being sued and saying that they were luring um, people in, and Caesar Pena was charging people money. And well, basically, this whole the, the people are suing are basically saying they got scammed in a nutshell. Now, DJ Envy has been under a lot of scrutiny lately because you had Caesar, Caesar P on your on the Breakfast Club multiple times and you were basically telling people you put in a little bit of money and you get back a, a big return. Not necessarily DJ Envy, but Caesar Pena. And people were believe was believing Caesar because DJ Envy was co-signing them. And you got various people who said that they were scammed out of tens of thousands and I believe somebody was scammed out of a couple hundred thousand. Caesar Pena denies all charges, but he is he he did get hit with a hit with federal charges. DJ Envy has not got hit with federal charges, but now he's being sued like with a Rico fraud case in New Jersey. And again, I'll post a link to the article. Here's my thoughts on it, right? People got to stop believing that you can do a quick flip and get a and get a big return on your investment, right? These people did not go to school, and I understand you don't need to necessarily go to school, right? But these people are they have no references that they that they pulled up, right? There's no line of work. They're just it seems like they just came out of nowhere and and you got 50 to 100 million dollars in real estate how? What banks gave you a loan? How did you how did you start buying a house? Where'd you buy the house at? You got proof of them? I mean, you see it all the time. People come online. Because one thing about the internet, right? I don't and, and follow me. Y'all remember back in the day, all those old <clears throat> they were they were more like info commercials. And sometimes they say, Oh, you know, give us a hundred dollars, we'll send you all this product out and you could try to sell it and make a profit and it, it never worked. Or, or or you had or you know you got that you got that cousin or your brother or some uncle, but I mean, you know, give me fifteen hundred and I'ma hold it for like like maybe a month and I'm gonna bring you back five thousand and then you never hear from them again. Well that's how T's opinion was, allegedly, right? And that's how most of these people are that are online. They have this stuff that's rented. They fly these rented private jets or they're taking fake pictures. They got all these cars, all this jewelry. It'd be fake. The houses be, be be rented or whatever for a couple of days. And they come on there and they make it they make it seem like they got all this money. They got all the success. But you never heard about these people, right? If you have $50 million in real estate... People should know you. Why are you not in Forbes, uh, Bloomberg, or whatever? How come I never seen you in the um, the New York Times, the Philadelphia Inquirer? Just some of these, some of these sites where they say, "Oh my God, this man went out of. He came from getting out of federal prison to a multimillionaire with fifty plus million dollars in, in, in assets." We need more people to be like him. You know, y'all. I hope, I hope y'all feeling where I'm coming from. You don't. You don't see that. You don't. You don't see these people. I mean, they literally just show up with all of this, and then you give them money, right? And then they disappear. But everybody got to start doing their own due diligence. <clears throat> Same thing with DJ Envy, right? Now I don't know. I don't believe Envy personally, and I could be totally wrong. Y'all, let me know in the comments how y'all feel. But I don't believe Envy necessarily was trying to scam people. I think Envy, I think Envy got into it himself. He believed in dude. He's not doing his due diligence. He's not having the lawyers look over his stuff. He's not requiring a portfolio that you can go back and validate. He's just 
go along. And this is where problems start to happen. And I get it again. You watch The Breakfast Club, you want to believe these people, and some of some of y'all just like me. I remember watching The Breakfast Club when they first came out. I remember Charlemagne had to tone it down. So you you follow these people and you want to trust and believe these people, right? So, but you still have to fact check the people that they're validating. This is. I don't know. Every might have to. He might have to step down from the Breakfast Club. I know they're trying to figure it out. I seen a recent interview with Charlemagne that basically said that the Breakfast Club can pretty much go on if they, if they had to. And Charlemagne is, in my opinion, the the, the more mo- the more known person. And I'm surprised they still they've lasted as long, honestly. At least with envy and. Charlamagne, I know Angelique stepped down last year. I don't know, Envy, you're gonna have to figure it out, man. That might have been the biggest L. And I, I can't remember. I want to say the guy name, but I can't remember for sure. But I know they had somebody else on there and they was making fun of him having real estate and or supposed to have real estate, but he didn't. And they said it was somebody that Angela Yee brought on, or allegedly. However, Envy, <laughs> you might have took the biggest L out of everybody. You and Caesar Pena. I mean, when I, when I first seen Caesar, I never believed any of it anyway, honestly. It just, it, it don't seem real. When they say, oh, you can just get a little bit of money. Okay, what's your credit got to look like? You can't just go to a bank and say, I need to get loans or whatever. I got fifteen hundred. I need a loan for eighty thousand. That's not how they work. <laughs> but they take advantage of of poor people who are uneducated. And here's the thing, right? You don't have to go to school, but you have to be educated. And you you have to be educated to back check the people who are scamming you, if that makes sense, right? So don't don't sit here and say, oh, you gotta have a degree. No, you don't. But you have to be mastered in education. So we gotta we, we, we gotta take this learn lesson. I hope, I hope all these victims get their money back, or as much of it as they can. And and and, it, and if Caesar's found guilty, then I mean he needs to be punished to whatever standards the law has. If Envy's found guilty in, in suing or you know the RICO charge in New Jersey, he gonna have to pay or insurances or whatever. And just come with it, man. You're bad. Yo, why these people, do they pull out, man, yo, I'm driving, right, to go pick my son up from wrestling, we was at the wrestling tournament, why this person pulled out and drove, driving out the wrong, the opposite road, I swear, man, these people down here in Atlanta, man, you gotta be careful, man, I be seeing people all the time on the, getting on, onto the ramps, they'll stop, turn around, and go back up the ramp, what are y'all doing, and then y'all wonder why our insurance is through the roof down here. My bad, y'all. I digress. So, anyway, honestly, in my opinion, we just got to be more careful about stuff like this. We got to fact check people. What Jay say? Believe half what you see and none of what you hear or some shit. I don't know. My bad, y'all. Drawing a blank right now. But y'all put in the, y'all put in the comments. You know what I'm talking about. Um... We just gotta move. We just gotta move better, man. Stop all these people online. They got all these damn ideas, right? They got all these ideas, and they got all this money in the world. Then why do they need your money, right? Why are you charging me five thousand dollars if you if you got fifty million in assets? You should be giving out free game online. Honestly. But that's just my quick opinion about it. Quick rant. My bad, y'all. If the audio's in and out, I'm not in front of my microphone because I'm driving, like I said, to the school. But tell me what y'all think.